In order for us to achieve our goal, which is actually to design and build a fusion power plant, we need to think beyond traditional core focus on fusion science and pull together all of the knowledge and capabilities that are required in order to actually design a full power plant with all the capabilities that you would have in that. And that really means we need to move beyond the traditional boundaries of the types of people that would work in a fusion company. Type 1 Energy is a unique fusion energy company. What we're trying to do is take a direct shot on goal to commercialize fusion energy over the next 10 years. I think the Stellarator is really key here. That is the most robust, has the cleanest and clearest path towards uh, fusion energy. Um, and that's because it's a steady state concept. It's basically a rigid cage for, for the plasma. It's much more stable than a number of other configurations and it solves a number of the challenges we've had um, in, the, in the past. So a Stellarator is a toroidal, like a donut shaped configuration. And that configuration, that magnetic field is actually winding around on a donut type surface. What we do is we take the coils on the outside of the plasma and we kink them into funny shapes. And if we do it right, we can kink these into shapes such that on average there's a magnetic field that goes around the short way as well as the long way. Um, the magnetic field lines otherwise might end somewhere and the plasma would run into them. But if you have them go around in a torus, you can actually confine the plasma so that it's not touching the walls at all. And that's really necessary if you want 100 million degrees in the center of it. So it's just basically hovering there. You really have to think what happens when you have an energy source uh, which uh, has essentially no downsides to it. Once we make it work, uh, we'll have an energy source that just produces electricity and heat 24-7, uh, requires very little uh, in terms of fuel and produces very little in terms of waste. And that will just have us we think how we're using energy. If it becomes something that isn't um, depleting our resources, that isn't destroying the environment, we can think of so many ways of uh, living better on, on this planet and to save um, the environment. Fusion is going to change the world as we know it in terms of being able to provide energy and being able to do it in a safe and sustainable way. And I just want to be a part of that. It's focusing on the most robust path and then innovating around it and making it more practical, faster. Uh, that's really what we're about in this company. And a lot of that is about innovation, about finding simpler solutions, uh, better engineering, not innovating for innovation's sake, simply for getting us to the goal. In Type 1 Energy, there's this culture that no idea is a bad idea that really fosters an um, environment that allows you to be a better, more creative engineer. You're challenged, you're pushed to think outside the box, be more radical and be more creative in how you solve these problems that have been a problem for uh, decades now. The timeline we have established for Type 1 Energy to commercialize fusion is driven by the need to bring online a new capability in terms of carbon-free energy. That puts a lot of constraints on the types of technology that we can effectively use over the next 10 years. A lot of the work that needs to be done right now is engineering. It's developing technology and bringing stuff that already exists in the idea of it to an actual reality. We're already working on all of the design, moving past a conceptual model for our fusion power plant. Having the ability to look at something that is in 3D, that has detail, is so exciting. Our whole focus is really on designing this power plant. And along the way, we're gonna to have to verify some aspects of that design through test. And the biggest aspect of that is an engineering platform that we call the risk reduction platform, which is really an integrated Stellarator test bed that we're gonna have an opportunity to build in partnership with TVA, the large US utility based in Tennessee and Oak Ridge National Laboratory over the next three or four years. Our innovation comes from all of our people and our engagement also with our community. So, um, you know, my role at Type 1 is really um, how do we increase diversity of perspective? That, that diversity of perspective is really our innovation, right? So, um, if we have all the same cogs, kind of the same type of people, that, that does minimize our, our innovation. So we really are um, uh, committed to increasing diversity perspective um, that adds to better science. The company's overall approach is really to have a partner-rich 
uh, way of pursuing the technology development. And that means working together with institutions and companies and national laboratories around the world. We need people who think in a boundaryless way, and this is a part of the culture we want to try to build in this company. Everybody who works here is so driven to make this a reality because we all see that this is going to be an integral part of our world. And a lot of the work that we're doing right now to make that eventuality a reality is design work and making something that is taken outside of the conceptual side of things and brought into a tangible design. It's a very exciting time because uh, all things are lining up. Uh, it's just a question of putting the effort into it. And so we just need people to come to join the effort. Uh, we need resources and people, smart people, please join us. We have complicated and exciting things that you can help us solve.